was a gamer? Rachel Amber? You're asking me? Didn't you two go out last night, or was it just like a friend thing? We're not friends. What is it to you? Yeah, what is it to you? Why, do you, why are you interested? Why do you want to know? <laughs> Steph has a crush. Oh! Chloe, you should join our game. Yeah. I don't have 50 hours right now. Thanks, though. We're at the end of the campaign, so it'll only take, like, 20 minutes? What else have you got to do before class? Yes, yes, please, please, do it. Yes! 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 What the hell? Game on, nerds. Here's right. a character sheet. You are an elf barbarian. What? No. Okay, fine. <laughs> fine. That is... That is so... That is so weak. What? No. Come on. Okay, fine. Fine, whatever. Nice. I could totally see myself as an elf barbarian. I know. I'm good. All right. Let's get started. You are both famous heroes in the kingdom of Avernon, a once peaceful land now laid to waste by the bloodthirsty raiders of the Black Well. Alone, you have fought your way through the raider camps, seeking their warlord leader, Durgaron, the Unscarred. As you enter the final camp, bloodied and weary, you see your fellow hero approaching from the opposite direction. I raise my staff to you in greeting. I am Elama, wizard of the Third Circle, foremost advisor to King Tiberius, and sworn defender of Avernon. <laughs> Introduce your character. Y yeah, okay. Uh, I'm an elf barbarian named... Uh, Barb? No. Calamastia. Super into it. Not bad. The two heroes... Hold on. Elamon narrows his eyes at the elf in front of him and says, I am here to defeat Durgaron, the Unscarred. In the name of King Tiberius, what makes you think you are worthy to fight alongside me? Oh, snap, I like this one. I once stabbed a guy in the chest with a sword, and it went all the way through and killed the guy behind him, too. True story. <laughs> you stand at a three-way crossing. To your left, the raiders' training ground. To your right, their prison camp. Straight ahead, an enormous, ostentatious tent that could only belong to Durgaron, the Unscarred. Which way do you go? Straight ahead, right? We're supposed to kill the Dur dude. Elamon frowns. The raiders could have some good loot at the training ground, and surely it is our duty to free all those prisoners. Your choice, newbie. I agree. Where do you wish to go? I want to get the loot, man. Um, I think we are going to the training grounds and then to the prison camp and then Warlord, that's the final boss, man. You don't go to the final boss straight away. Training loot grounds. sounds good. Let's go to the training ground. Sweet. Upon arriving at the training ground, you are spotted by a heavy set orc who immediately shouts and points. There are a dozen raiders on the training field, all of whom raise their weapons and charge. Okay. So what do we do? Roll Cast for initiative. Urgle's acid blast. Um, overkill? Bam! You conjure up a wave of acid that washes over the charging orcs. Every raider suddenly starts screaming and writhing in pain. There's a sweet and sour kind of smell as the flesh melts off their bones like warm candle wax. Holy shit. You see why I haven't really needed a partner? The heavy set orc sergeant still remains. He runs at you swinging a massive warhammer. All yours. Uh, knee slam. I knee him. Right in the orc balls. Success. The orc clutches his groin, <laughs> never to father children again. Yes! <laughs> Your turn again, Chloe. <laughs> oh, and then I'm gonna do this. I do a pommel strike. I strike his pommel hard. <laughs> um... What did I say? A pommel is the end of a sword handle. Pommel strike is where you hit the guy with it. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, I do that. Except you're not wielding a sword, you're wielding an axe. Damn it! 
This sucks. <laughs> it's all right. Try using your... You've delayed too long. The orc swings his war hammer at your head, barely missing your move. Okay, let's end this. Fatal cleave. You swing your great axe downward with both hands. The orc blinks, then splits open like a hot dog bun. Fuck yeah! I'm awesome at this game. It's going well. What about the loot? Well, as the training ground is now a roiling pit of acid, it's unlikely any loot survived. Dang. Well, we all make mistakes. Don't worry, Alamon guy. We all make mistakes. Alamon nods. Calamastia, the elf barbarian, is most wise and forgiving. What's next? Prison camp. Guess it's time to free some peeps. Let's go to the prison camp. You behold a field of standing iron cages, each imprisoning a human villager, calling out for you to free them. Only a small, elderly dragonkin is keeping watch. He notices you, and in terror, runs into one of the few empty cages and locks himself in. <laughs> ah, poor little guy. What's a dragonkin? Dragonkin are like little dragon people. They're assholes. I bet he has all the keys. Oh, okay. Hey, shitface! Get out of there! The dragonkin hops up and down, shaking his ring of keys at you. He shouts in a strange language. Whatever he's saying probably isn't flattering. Got any useful spells in that robe of yours? Nothing that wouldn't blow up the cage and everything in it. Um, oh, hey, intimidate. Uh, attempt, attempt with bread. Attempt with... Attempt with bread first. Okay, let's do bread. Apparently, I have bread. I try to tempt the little bastard out with it. He sticks out his tongue, finding your offering disgusting. Ugh! <laughs> uh, do I, can I do them all? It says here I can pick locks. Can I do that? Sure. You spend a long time trying to pick the lock, but don't accomplish anything. The dragonkin makes an obscene gesture at what you can only assume are his genitals. Shit. <laughs> LOL. Intimidate. That's a skill I have. Can I do that? I want the little bastard to shit his pants. You can try. What do you say? Listen up, you little lizard. Unfortunately, he doesn't speak common, which means he can't- I cast communication on the dragonkin. Oh. Shit. Really? <laughs> now he can understand every word you say. Oh. Time to work some real magic. So this is called a skill challenge, where you try to use- Oh, I know what this is. I grab the bars of the cage and lean in, nice and close. He steps back, his scaly skin quivering in fear. What do you say? Hey, me puppet. I wiggle my hand. Hey, dragon kin guy. Want to become my meat puppet? How it works is I shove my arm up your ass into your head, and then I can control your mouth from the inside to say things. Uh, he doesn't <laughs> seem to like that idea. Neither do I. The dragon can <laughs> please with you. Please don't harm me, tall one. But I cannot give you key. Durgaron much taller and meaner than you. You're short, I say. But you can always get shorter. Give me the key, or I'll <laughs> chop off your legs and beat you to death with them. Uh... Dragon can cowers before you, looking left and right. He opens his jaws, and you think he's about to yell for help. I interrupt his yell by shoving my axe into the cage, pinning his head to the bars without hurting him. Then I say the following. This is going to be good. Here's what's up. I'm going to carve the skin from your bones. Then I'm going to turn your skin into a little leather handbag that I'll shove your skinless body into so I can carry it around with me wherever I go. That way, <laughs> the next time some asshat refuses to give me a key I want, I can pull your body out and show them what happens. How does that sound? Uh, wow. That was nuts. I'm going to give you a plus 10 bonus to charisma. Go ahead and roll. 
Please don't quit fail. A small pool of urine collects under the elderly dragonkin as, hands trembling, it hands you the keys. Then it dies of fear. Awesome. Oh. Yeah, go team. Why don't you start unlocking the prisoners? I'm on it. As you free them, the prisoners run away from you in fear. What's next? <laughs> I intimidate everybody there. Cool. It's tent time. You enter the tent to find Durgaron, warlord of the raiders of the Black Well, sitting comfortably at his throne. He's a huge red-eyed minotaur, swathed in a fine black cloak, gripping a two-handed sword that's easily six feet long. His laughter bellows. Wah, ha, 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 ha. Your lands and people are already mine. Your deeds here mean nothing. Your kingdom was weak. You are weak. What an asshole. I got this. I cast Zael's Cataclysmic Cone of Fire. The fire fizzles out on contact. Durgaron laughs again, holding up his right arm to show off his bracer of fire immunity. Shit. All of my battle spells are fire-based. Except for, you know, Acid Blast, which someone used unnecessarily to show off for Chloe. Calamastia? <laughs> uh... What'll it be? Um... Brutal punch. I don't think a punch is gonna do anything. Uh, should I do a rush? Let's, um, wrathful. Let's let's do, let's do this. What's Sounds... wrathful rush? It's like a shoulder slam, an angry, angry shoulder slam. Okay, I do that. You scream with wrathful rage, then charge. Durgaron is caught off guard, and he fails to dodge. You slam your shoulder into him, knocking him back and doing some damage. Hell yeah. Next. I'm... Brutal Punch sounds lame. Let's do a strike. <laughs> oh, holy shit! Uh, annihilation Strike. That sounds boss as fuck. One? Oh, Critfield, come That's on, Chloe! That's bad, right? Not for me. As you take your first step, you trip on a rock collapsing onto the ground in a clangy jumble of metal. Your axe swings wildly to the side. Mikey, roll a reflex save. Oh no, three. Your axe strikes Elamon's leg. Um, legs, plural. Severing both feet at the ankles. I am so sorry, <laughs> dude. I am so sorry. Durgaron moves toward the crippled Elmon. Oh, shit! I told you this was my best boss. You didn't tell me my character might die. Durgaron approaches, stomping his bloody hooves. Stomp, stomp, stomp. This is all my fault. Sort of. What should I do? Dance? <laughs> jump in front of Elmon. I jump in front of Elmon. Wow. Thanks, Chloe. Come on, do an upward cut. Upward I mean, cut. thanks, Calamastia. Okay. Durgaron has now turned his attention toward you. Bring it. He charges, thrusting madly with his great sword. Shit! Oh, no. Your attempt to dodge his thrust fails. Durgaron laughs as he impales you on his blade, lifting you high into the air. Seriously? I can't do anything with that stupid bracer. I'm sorry, Chloe. Hey, I chopped your feet off. We're even. You feel your strength draining away as Durgaron lifts you higher into the air. It hurts like hell. What do you do? Remove his bracer. Swing for his arm. Swing for his arm. I bring my axe down onto his arm. The one with the fire bracer thingy. Oh. Brilliant! You'll have to roll high to hit. You're almost dead. 20! Oh, Fuck yeah. yes! You bring your axe down in a wicked chop, severing his arm completely. His bracer of fire immunity clings to the ground. I cast Gignomi's Fire Strike of Flame! Oh, snap! Lying on the ground, you conjure a flaming spear, which flies from your hands to spear Durgaron in the chest. 
incinerating him completely from the inside out. Damn, Elamon. Durgron is defeated, but your wounds were too great. I'm afraid Calamastia is dead. Uh, damn it! I actually feel sad right now. Better to have died a hero than live as a coward. That was fun. Check out what I drew. Mikey's got serious drawing skills. Nice. Glad you enjoyed it, Chloe. Yeah. I'll adventure with you anytime. <laughs> we'll see. Thanks for the game, nerds. What? I had to hide our game from the nurse. <gasps> she thinks it's negatively affecting my mood. Elamon's backed himself into a pretty tight spot this time. He might not make it. Are, are, we, are we gonna play? Are we gonna... A sec. Calamastia. She can join Elamon in battle. Maybe the two of us together could actually make it out alive. <gasps> Wait. You're into this nerd shit too? Dude, of course, totally. It's a game where I win if I make up crazy shit and act like a badass. So yes. Oh my god, are, are, we, are we doing it? I hate to be such a game master about it, but I'm pretty sure Chloe's character died last time. Oh, well, can, oh, we, can we make a new yeah. one? <laughs> Please, I will. Please. Wait a sec. Didn't you have that anklet of reincarnation in your inventory? I don't know, but uh, I do now. Yeah. I totally did have that thing. Yes! Holy shit! So you can actually swoop in and save my ass. What do you say? Yes! 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 You gotta save Elamon, right? Oh, Kevin, you are awesome, by the way. <laughs> I'm so glad to replay chapter two for this. Oh, this better be good. We rejoin Elamon as he majestically soars over the traveler's path. He glances over his shoulder only to discover his pursuers are right behind him. Wait, you can fly? I'm a wizard. Plus, I kind of have to since you cut my feet off last time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that kind of that kind of happened. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> oh, shit. I, I, I forgot I did that. Sorry. It's cool. <laughs> Elamon comes around a corner to discover Calamastia, the elf barbarian, sitting by a fire, roasting squirrels. Hey man, what's up? What's up? Sup. Sup? I'm running from Dragonkin because <laughs> of you. Remember when you killed that jailer and took his key to free the prisoners in the prison camp? <laughs> Turns out you offended their entire clan. And they're after me now. Um, well, oh, need a hand, need a, really, really, are we gonna say that? We, oh, we just, we broke Mikey's hand and now we need a, yeah, hey, need a hand. Sounds like you could use a hand from your favorite elf barbarian. Your crotch punching abilities are second to none. Suddenly, dragonkin scouts rush in, clawing you while your backs are turned. Take four damage. I don't want to take four damage. You're up first. What do you want to do? Um, spinning slash or a bare hands. Um, we can disarm them. Yeah, let's disarm them. I disarm them. They're not carrying weapons. Well. Then I grab the arm <laughs> of the nearest dragonkin and rip it from its oh. socket. Oh. Yes. <laughs> okay. You now oh. wield a severed dragonkin arm. What's next? Smack him with I it. I beat them to death yes. with it. <laughs> you curl the fingers into a fist and bludgeon them with it, oh. swinging the arm with a blind fury until no dragonkin remain. Hey, yes. nice one. Don't celebrate yet. You begin to hear the clinking armor of hundreds of dragonkin warriors. The sound grows louder, as they grow closer. And this is why I was running. Well, um, we can take them. We can take them. Ah, oh, come on. You can totally take these fuckers down. I just killed six of them. Those were scouts, Chloe. Warriors are four times that hard. Oh. Well, well shit. 
<laughs> Running and living. Yeah, sounds like a plan. You sprint as fast as you can until you come across a fork in the road. One path leads into the mouth of a deep, dark cave. The other takes you into a dense, misty forest. Which way do you go? Um, you know, uh, uh, I kind of want to go to the caves, because bad decisions. The forest, the forest looks too good. The caves, caves is like, it's like, it's like a cave of death. But we can let, but I don't know what feel it out is. Chloe, I will let you choose. Feel it out. Can I, you know, feel it out first? Totally. Roll for perception. Ugh. Thirteen? Despite the desolate look of the caves, your elvish senses tell you that something does in fact live inside. Something unfriendly. That's nice. some solid intel. Next, you turn to the forest. Though it seems still, you sense that what's inside is not entirely at rest. Okay. Come on. The dragonkin are still behind us. Um, I want to go into the caves. I want. I I kind of hope there's a dragon inside. Come out and kill all the dragonkins. That'll be that'll be really epic, right? Go in and find Drogon or to the forest. Forest is boring. Let's go into the caves and die. Let's do it. Maybe the dragonkin won't follow us into the caves. Let's go there. I guess I don't have a better plan. You plunge <laughs> into the darkness. The uneven, rocky terrain beneath your feet makes it difficult to navigate. You come around a corner to find a cube of bright um. green goo sitting in your path. Dead rats float around inside it, slowly dissolving. <sighs> of course. It's a gelatinous polyhedron. Okay. You fall into it. How? 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 What? Seriously? It starts to burn your skin, a little at first, but the pain only grows the longer you stay stuck. I cast Scorching Scythe. Your flame-made scythe slices the gelatinous polyhedron in half, freeing your companion. <laughs> but right <laughs> before your very eyes, the two halves grow and shift until you're face to jelly with two full gelatinous polyhedra. Damn. Well, you're a move. Well, number one, how come I didn't get to roll a reflex save so I don't fall into the stupid jelly? Anyway, um, I don't want to attack them. Can we just run? There should be like a, another option. Because if I smash it, it's going to split an axe. Will probably split it in half, and striking smash will probably make it multiply into several thousand pieces. Um, let's go for something safe. Let's go with. <laughs> there, none of them are safe. Let's go with an axe and hope she actually cuts it in half and not into like thousands of pieces. Okay, please. Let's see. Uh, please. Astral axe. That sounds destructive as shit. You yes. swing your axe with the power of a small sun. Slicing Ugh. each of the cubes into thirds. Why? <laughs> but yet again, <laughs> the chunks of jelly grow and shift until you're looking at a small army of six gelatinous polyhedra. Oh, where do you get these? Wh where do you <laughs> keep getting these? Exactly. A good game master is exactly. always prepared. The polyhedra engulf you, burning any exposed skin and searing your clothes. Take 12 damage. I cast. Ring of fire. You send out a burst of fire, exploding the polyhedra into hundreds of tiny pieces. Well, I'm naked now, so I'm not gonna rage roll. Why would I roll onto them? I'm like, I'm like, I'm like naked. I'm not gonna do that. Let's um, let's get pissed off throwing tantrum. Let's do it. I hope you don't roll on your tantrum. <laughs> I use temper tantrum. I, I stomp on all the little pieces and grind them into the rock like like cigarette butts. It's super effective. Your attack managed to split the jelly into thousands of tiny globs. Uh, 
I feel like we should run. Run screaming. Luckily, gelatinous polyhedra have a very low movement speed. The party flees safely, but the polyhedra aren't far behind. Oh. You're near the exit of the caves. When you run across... Oh, shit. Oh. Is that me? Really? You're gonna play? Really? <laughs> yeah, little brother. Oh. Pavel, the arrogant gnome bard, joins your party. Oh. Oh. Arrogant. Arrogant. <laughs> arrogant? You're not used to words that big, are you? Oh, snap. Damn. Well, big talk, man. That's some big talk from someone who's only three feet tall. So size isn't everything. This is awesome. It is. Hey. <laughs> Fine. But don't slow us down. In the time you've been chatting, the army of gelatinous polyhedra has caught up to you. Several spew acid directly at Elamon. What do you do? Um, shield him with my body. Shield him with, shield him with the bard. Uh, that's so funny. Shoot him with the bard. I did take a lot of damage. Um, you know what? Let's let's shoot him with my bard, eh? I'm uh, naked. I I heroically jump in front of Elamon, using my axe to block each attack. You block almost every attack, but one makes it through. Take six damage. Hey, thanks. Do you have to be the hero? That's just selfish. The army is still advancing. What do you do next? We tell the gnome to sing us a song so that I can heal. Okay, let's see. We have run and then trip to <laughs> trip the bard and run. Why? Why are we attacking the bard so bad? Why? Let's run. We can't fight a whole army of them. Not just with a gnome bard as backup. We should run. Doing a lot of running today. Shut up. <laughs> As you close in Whoa. on your path Whoa. out of the caves, True. all the gelatinous polyhedra smush <laughs> together to form a boss polyhedra. It's catching up to the party. Shit. Did you guys see the glitch? Where Drew was just flicking his finger on nothing? And uh, anyway, I can throw I can throw the bard. Why? Why? Why is it making me kill the bard? I'm not killing my bard, I'm throwing my axe. I throw my axe at it. Your attack doesn't do nearly enough damage to kill it. <sighs> but it buys you enough time to escape into the meadows. Good effort. Can't even kill it? <laughs> Pathetic. My other option was you throw you into forth it. into the majestic meadow. Horizon to horizon. All you can see is lush green fields oh. full of birds flowers and dragon kin what instead of chasing you they circle around to set a trap and you just walked right into it a spear from the waiting army soars through the sky hitting and killing pavel the arrogant gnome bard <laughs> oh what? i barely got to play i rolled really <laughs> high as the dragon kin ahead prepare to attack the army of gelatinous polyhedra arrive behind you. <sighs> We're surrounded and screwed. Ah, come on, Elamon. I'm sure you've got some sweet spell that'll save us. Uh, I do have searing crystal. Perfect! Searing crystal, these fuckers! You don't get it. This isn't just another battle spell. This crystal is like... Like dropping a nuke. It'll kill everything, including you and me. Actually, you did grab Durgron's Bracer of Fire Immunity. Whoever wears it would survive. See? Problem solved. <sighs> but there's only one Bracer. It's okay, you use it. And um, I just want to say, I did see. Did you guys see Drew sitting on Steph's lap? Anyway, um, that was weird. Die together. Villiantly. No, let's let's sacrifice me. Yeah, let's do it. I will sacrifice for you. <sighs> Mikey loves his character. I I can't just let him get Elamon killed. Yeah. 
Yeah, we, we are doing this. Please, please. Alamon, keep the bracer and cast the spell. <laughs> I'll hold them off so you can survive. Yes. It won't work. Look at all of them. I should have never started this quest. I'm too weak. Now, Alamon is a mighty. You're Alamon. Freaking wizard of the third circle, foremost advisor to King Tiberius, and sworn defender of Avalon. Wow. Avernon. Yeah, that. <laughs> See, you can do anything. Wow. You actually remember all of that? <laughs> but I've never even used this spell before. What if I roll too low? Um, don't back down, I guess. You know what <gasps> yes. else you've never done? given up if either of us is going to survive this is the only way you're the only friend who's ever helped me I, I can't leave you behind you help everyone great 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 help I am huh some party mate I've been I got your feet cut off taking the hit is the best thing I can do for this party No, Calamastia, I won't just kill you. <gasps> okay, okay, kill them too. Don't be afraid. You can't kill yourself. Kill them too. Kill. Oh, please. You'll yes! kill all of these monsters too. Think of how many lives you'll be saving by nuking their stupid faces off. All right. I'm so sorry, Chloe. Elamon secures the Bracer of Fire immunity on his wrist. He gives the Elf Barbarian one last nod and reaches to the sky. The searing crystal lifts from his hands, floating up into the clouds. You got this, bro. Suddenly, an explosion. Fire arcs outward in a ring. Then the ring begins to spin. Whoa. A quiet stillness encompasses the meadow as all creatures gaze upward at the swirling flames. Thank you, Chloe, for everything. The flames descend over the meadow, bathing everything in liquefying arcs of infernal chaos. Monsters begin screaming in agony. Bad ass. Chloe, you've got one final moment before your angry elven body is burned away forever. Any last words? Oh, I get a last words. Middle finger, F these guys. Aww. <laughs> let's, let's, go with, let's go with something awesome. Let's go with thanks, Alamon. And let's, middle finger, that's so sad. I don't want to go with, I don't want to go that way. I turn to Alamon and say, thank you. Before the flames burn me away forever. Alamon rolls not to cry. <laughs> I rolled a three. Oh. The spell comes to a spectacular climax until all you can see is white. Then all is calm. All is quiet. All is ash. Damn. Congratulations, Alamon. You have completed Revenge of the Dragonkin. That's it? What? Floating no. She's dead? And the game's over? Yep. And Elamon's left alone once again. It was fun having a companion while it lasted. Well... What if I make a new character? Wait... Really? You wanna keep playing? Sure. This is gonna be dope. Aww. 